Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 18 with me Craig Barton. Now the topic of the equation of a circle for AS and an A2 level doesn't sound like one that lends itself particularly well to being spiced up. I mean after all there are only so many ways you can work out the coordinates of the centre of a circle and the size of its radius. But then I stumbled upon this resource which has been uploaded by Sam4188 and there was something about it that just grabbed me and it I just thought it was such a such a simple but such an interesting and engaging activity um, and here it is it's the equation of a circle clock and it's just a PowerPoint just a single slide and it looks like that and here's a clock um, here's the 12 kind of numbers but instead of having numbers at the end because that'd be a bit boring instead we've got equations of circles and the numbers are determined by the radius of each of these circles and it's the student's job to go around this clock working out the radius of each of these uh, circles from their equation to determine whether the number that it represents is in fact correct so for example if we take this top one here is the radius of that circle 12 and in fact this one it looks like it probably is because that's in quite a nice format but if you take something like this is the equation of that circle at the bottom, <coughs> is that 7 or not? And that's going to require students to complete the square, rearrange the equation, and all that kind of stuff. And then there's a nice little extension activity that's been suggested, and that's, can the students correct these equations? Can they change one of the numbers in there for all the ones that are in the incorrect place to mean that they actually represent the number that they should do? So can they manipulate this particular equation to make sure that it does indeed have a radius of 7? And by the time the students have done all this, they've got a really, really deep understanding, I believe, of the equation of the circle. And of course, you can also get them to work out the coordinates of the center of the circle. And then if you've got some graphing software, perhaps Autograph or even the free online one of Desmos, then you can plot these equations straight in there and check that the center of the circle and the radius of the circle are indeed in the place that the students have suggested. And by the time that's done, there isn't too much more in terms of equations of circle work that actually needs doing. So a lovely little way, I thought, of just adding something a little bit different to your bog standard equation of a circle work. Anyway, hope you found that useful and I'll be back with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care and bye for now.